Okay, hi, this is Princess Vic and my kitty cat, Vandal Savage. Say hi, Vandal. See, Vandal. All right, so we are actually gonna try and make beef jerky for the very first time. So here are our ingredients. Uh, we've got some Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, some seasoned salt, some paprika, some ground pepper, buckwheat honey, and I saw this, it was a bit of an impulse buy, espresso coffee, and uh, Pavillac Rouge, just some uh, random wine that uh, my mom got. So of course we started there with the, um, the wine. And now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. All right, considering I've never actually made this before, beef jerky, um, I'm just going to add the ingredients and then taste it and see what I get. Uh, the meat I'm using, because it said you shouldn't use anything with too much fat, I've got some, uh, what is this, some uh, choice eyes of round. I've got me some veal for scallopini, but I'm going to use it for the um, what I'm doing here. And I got some uh, turkey bacon here. Yeah, so let's see, see what we're going to do here. All right, so um, I'm actually thinking of doing maybe like a two to one ratio on the soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce here. It says I have to mix all of this up first and then soak the meat in it. Okay, so using the buckwheat honey has totally, totally kicked this up a notch. I am enjoying the flavor palette. So, uh, mm, okay. It's good. I used all the Worcestershire sauce. Used all of this. Um, almost decimated the soy sauce. I think maybe I used a little too much. But yeah, the buckwheat honey is good. Um, I'm enjoying this espresso. I'm thinking of actually adding some of my coffee from this morning just to see how that's gonna go so we'll see okay so adding my coffee from this morning actually gives it an amazing flavor palette so I'm gonna put all of my meat in here and then uh, pour it into a bag and let it sit for the next 24 hours Took out all the air. I've got all my meat in here. All congealed, all nice and nice. Make sure every piece gets a little bit of that really good, good liquid. It's got a great flavor profile. And then I'm just gonna stick it back here. And uh, 24 hours later, we're gonna put it into the oven. Okay, so it's actually been more than 24 hours of me marinating the meat. Um, so now I am going to put it in an oven at 170 degrees for about four hours. And I'm putting the meat inside the Pyrex pans. Okay, it's been about two hours and 40 minutes and it looks like the uh, turkey bacon is uh, doing really good. In the bottom one where I had the veal and the beef, I actually had to pour out some of the juices. So there's an hour and 18 minutes left for the cooking. Nice. All right, uh, homemade biltong fresh out of the oven. It's still a little on the hot side but hopefully it's gonna be nice and dry. Um, this is the turkey bacon, looks good. 
This is the uh, veal, not bad. And this is the beef. Okay, well, so let's see. Uh, beef. Mm. Oh, yeah. Flavor profile is really, really good. Mm. The veal. Mm. I think the veal is going to be the winner. It is really dry. I like it. I like it. And the turkey bacon. Oh, okay. So I think out of the three, oh yeah, the turkey bacon has turned out to be the best. So that was homemade biltong or beef jerky, uh, marinated about 24, well, more than 24 hours, cooked in an oven at 170 degrees Fahrenheit for four hours in glass Pyrex. Mazel tov.